time. Abilene Wiley welcomed state champion hopefuls Stephenville tonight. Sean Humphrey, let me go ahead and slide over here. Sean Humphrey joins me. Sean, here's that right there for you. Hey, Abilene Wiley, Stephenville, two programs that are just flat out looking to win some state championships. Stephenville in particular, though, we already know what they do. Abilene Wiley, Clay Martin's been there for a long time. What do you think about this matchup, man? Hey, man, I was looking at the highlights here, and I had just bug eyes seeing how big these high school mm -hmm. kids are. I don't know what they're feeding them. It's got to be a little know. bit more than brisket and beans. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. It must be something like <laughs> cornbread, a lot of <laughs> hey, hey, thank you, Damien. Uh, both teams won big last week. Abilene Wiley comes into this one after a 29-point win over Lubbock Coronado. Stephenville kept its record spotless with a 45-point shutout over the godly Wildcats. And we're going to go ahead and roll the highlights immediately, sir. Wiley's Braden Regala catches a long pass from the quarterback here, but the S in story is for Stephenville. Next play, it's Ryan Gafford, the quarterback, throwing it deep to the running back, Bryson Powell. Yes, the running back. He's listed at 5'11", 190, and he stutter steps into the back of the end zone and skids to a stop in the celebration here, a seismic collision, and he's going to be doing snow angels in the West Texas heat. Next play, Zyler McClendon listed 6'1", 205, playing ping pong with purple people paddles. <laughs> Stephenville was up 28-14 to 14 in the fourth quarter. Wiley is a strong team, but the Yellow Jackets have a lot of size. At last check, it was 35-14. to 14. They say styles make fights, but that doesn't apply apply when your brother's just bigger than you. Damien, yeah, no. Stephenville state champions in 2021. It's looking real good for them this year as well. Oh, absolutely. Not only that as well, Abilene Wiley still a talented team that can definitely bounce back. I know the first four weeks haven't been exactly what they hoped for, but Sean, lots of football left to be played. Yeah, we just saw uh, we, we just saw Cooper pick up their first win of yeah. the season. There's a lot of good teams with losses. A lot of good teams don't have wins. A lot of good teams just picked up their first win. And a lot of good teams getting Friday night smacked down. Hey, absolutely. Hey, they're not like your Florida Gators. They actually have hope out there in <laughs> Abilene Wiley. All right, Sean, I got to leave you on that one, my friend. Thank you so much.